Hi there, hydroponics coordinator Travis here. Last time we talked about how to germinate your seeds, today we're gonna look at what to do with your seeds once they've sprouted. It's been about 10 days since we started germinating our seeds using the paper towel method. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have inside. 11 out of the 13 seeds that we planted using the paper towel method have germinated now after 10 days, giving us roughly an 85% germination rate, which is pretty good. Here you can see we have two sugar baby watermelon seeds which have germinated. The top parts of the sprout there we call the cotyledon leaves. Those are the first leaves to come out of the seed. And then the small white part there at the bottom that looks like the beginning of the root, that actually is the beginning of the roots and we call that part the radical. Feel free to help your sprouts out by removing the seed coat if you can very gently here. The next step in this process would be to actually transplant your sprout into the growing media that you're going to use. Rock wool essentially is created by spinning molten rock at a high temperature similar to how cotton candy is spun and it creates this material that's absorbent and porous. So here we have some rock wool that I opened up with a pencil. We're going to just go ahead and put the root down in there and give this a lot of water and some sunlight as well. If you're transplanting into soil, that's a pretty similar process as well. Soil is much easier to work with if you get it wet before planting, especially when working with small seeds and sprouts. You're gonna go ahead and just make a hole in the soil, drop your sprout in there with the root down, and then make sure to support your plant and hold it upright. Then, same with all the other plants, make sure to give it enough water and sunlight at this point. Sprouts, especially really small ones, do best with a bit of humidity. So if you have a dome or anything really from home that you can use to cover your plants and keep the humidity relatively high around them, that's gonna help them a bit. Here you can see the development of the watermelon plant all the way from the early stages where its cotyledon leaves are beginning to spread open and capture some sunlight to the development of its first true leaves. And I really like the way that the watermelon leaves look. Thanks for watching, and next time I'll show you how you can fertilize your plants once they're planted in soil or a hydroponic system. Bye!